Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I am Kelly Houston. I am a registered dietitian and a lactation consultant. I work primarily with women, uh, kids and families to try to help people find the joy in eating. I work with my clients in a way um, so that they can eat to feel energized, fueled and nourished. Today I want to talk about perfection with goal setting. So it's the new year, uh, there's New Year's resolutions aplenty, so um, there's a reason that these things tend to end pretty abruptly just a few weeks in, and often it has to do with perfection. Um, I have fallen into this trap time and time again. I'll set a goal, say, for example, to exercise. Um, so in my current uh, phase of life, if I'm lucky enough to find an afternoon where my two youngest kids are napping at the same time, I'll find myself saying, I should exercise. That should is in quotes there. Um, I should exercise now, but I don't have a full hour or I, I'm not sure how long I'll have. So what's even the point? Well, here's the point. Five minutes of exercise is still five minutes of exercise. Spoiler, five is greater than zero. Reading for two minutes instead of 10 is still reading for two minutes. Two is greater than zero. Uh, if you're too late to make it to your intense spin class, a walk will still get your blood pumping, give you a burst of energy, bring down blood sugar, and you can pretty much do it anywhere. Eating a lunch meat sandwich and carrot sticks might not feel like a meal plan type of meal, but some nights it might be just what you need to avoid eating out before soccer practice. And guess what? It's a completely balanced meal with three food groups. Doing nothing is not gonna get me closer to where I wanna be. These little things like the five minute burst of exercise, the two minutes of reading, um, the lunch meat sandwiches on practice nights, doing those things over and over and over are gonna chip away at the larger picture and get us closer to where we wanna be. Uh, maybe I really don't <laughs> ever have a full hour to exercise anymore, but I probably have a few times during the day where I have five minutes uh, that I can, or, you know, run around the house, get my blood pumping, that I can, um, you know, do a few push-ups or squats or just something to build my muscles and uh, build my energy up and just feel a little more energized. Um, I've learned that with this former type of thinking that I had, um, that I have to just let go of my ideal and realize what my actual situation is, and that's okay. We all have different seasons in our life where different things are more important. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm in a season where a few minutes to myself and getting enough sleep are most important. So dinner might be sandwiches or chicken strips a little bit more than I would like. I know that once I'm consistently getting more sleep, things will change. I'll have more energy <clears throat> to put thought into homemade meals. My baby will have a more consistent wake up time and I'll get back into my morning workouts even if it is just five minutes, one of those really tired mornings. But if I do nothing, I'll feel even more soft than before and I won't be getting any closer to where I need to be. So how will you decrease your perfection this year? I would love to hear about it. If you find yourself struggling with perfection with food and eating, please reach out. You don't have to struggle alone. Wishing all of you a happy new year. Thanks for watching.